let's start with secondary growth in dicot root okay so in dicot root also secondary growth occurs by stelar secondary growth that is stelar secondary growth secondary growth which occurs inside the steel you know what is steel steel includes what pericycle vascular tissues that is xylem and phloem and pith that is steel so the secondary growth which occurs inside the steel is called as stelar secondary growth i am writing secondary growth as sg and it occurs by extra stelar secondary growth also so the secondary growth in dicot root also occurs by stelar secondary growth and extra stelar secondary growth extra stelar secondary growth is the secondary growth that occurs outside the steel right now the stelar secondary growth occurs by the activity of vascular cambium whereas extra stelar secondary growth occurs by the activity of cock cambium cock cambium right cock cambium in the same way as in case of dicot stem right now let's start with stelar secondary growth okay so this is about the vascular tissues present in dicot stem what type of vascular bundles are present radial vascular bundles are present so what are radial vascular bundles radial vascular bundles are the vascular bundles in which xylem and phloem bundles or patches xylem and xylem and phloem patches are present alternating with one another they are alternating with one another in two different radii that is called radial vascular bundle right okay in this very radial vascular bundles there is formation of vascular cambium so now let's study the formation of vascular cambium so this vascular cambium formation occurs by the de differentiation of conjunctive tissue and conjunctive tissue tissue and pericycle it occurs by the de differentiation of conjunctive tissue and pericycle okay now let's study how this vascular cambium is formed in case of dicot root during secondary growth okay so this is phloem patch i just label all these so that it will be more clear so pericycle this is pericycle pericycle and this is xylem this is xylem and this is phloem right Phloem. So primary xylem, primary phloem, primary phloem, primary xylem. Okay. So in the tissue which is present between parenchymatous tissue, which is present between xylem and phloem, is conjunctive tissue, right? So here conjunctive tissue is there. Here conjunctive, like this conjunctive tissue is present between the bundles, vascular bundles of xylem and phloem, or patches of xylem and phloem. so now the parenchymatous cells of this conjunctive tissue it is parenchymatous tissue conjunctive tissue now the parenchymatous cells of this conjunctive tissue undergo de differentiation into cambial strips like this they undergo de differentiation what is this de differentiation regaining the capacity of cell division so the parenchymatous cells present in this conjunctive tissue regain the capacity of cell division and get de differentiated into cambial strips these cambial strips are called first cambial strips so these are first cambial strips first cambial strips right okay after formation of first cambial strips now other second cambial strips will be formed by the de differentiation of pericycle so the pericycle which is present the pericycle which is present above the protoxylem of primary xylem what is this primary xylem primary xylem consists of protoxylem and metaxylem what is protoxylem first formed xylem is called protoxylem later formed xylem of the primary xylem is called metaxylem so the pericycle the part of the pericycle which is present above protoxylem so here here protoxylem here also the part of the pericycle which is present above protoxylem undergo de differentiation pericycle is also made of parenchyma in case of dicot roots dicot or monocot root pericycle is made of parenchyma so the parenchymatous cells present in pericycle that to the part of the pericycle which is present above the protoxylem regain the capacity of cell division and get de differentiated into cambial strips what are these cambial strips second cambial strips which are nothing but secondary meristem right so now this is second cambial strips 
these are second cambial strips and these cambial strips first cambial strips uh, which are formed the number of first cambial strips is equal to the number of phloem patches or xylem patches here how many phloem patches are there four phloem patches are there or how many xylem patches are there four and the number of cambial strips is first cambial strips is equal to the number of xylem patches or four uh, phloem patches. So, what is the ratio between the number of phloem patches, xylem patches and first cambial strips and second cambial strips? 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 because 4 is to 4 is to 4 is to 4. So, 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Right. So, these are second cambial strips. Right. Cambial strips. So, after formation of first and second cambial strips, these uh, cambial strips join together resulting in the formation of a wavy vascular cambium. These cambial strips they join together resulting in the formation of wavy vascular cambium like this. They are joining together to form a wavy vascular cambium right. Okay so here the major part of the vascular cambium is formed by major part of the vascular cambium is formed by the redifferentiation of conjunctive tissue. So, conjunctive tissue is involved in the formation of major part of the vascular cambium, major part. Whereas, pericycle is involved in the formation of minor part of the vascular cambium, minor part. Right? Okay. So, so what can we say now? This vascular cambium is formed by the conjunctive tissue which is present above phloem, oh, sorry, below phloem. And the pericycle which is present above protoxylum. So, vascular cambium is formed by the conjunctive tissue which is present below phloem. Which is present below phloem. And, and the pericycle which is present above protoxylum. Above protoxylum of the primary xylem. I just repeat. So, vascular cambium is formed by the de-differentiation of both conjunctive tissue and pericycle. In detail, the vascular cambium is formed by the conjunctive tissue which is present below phloem and the, vas and the pericycle which is present above protoxylum of the primary xylem. So, these are involved in the formation of cambial strips that is first cambial strips and secondary ca second cambial strips as we studied now which together join to form a complete ring of vascular cambium and this ring is wavy vascular cambium. It is in the form of wave, wavy ring of vascular cambium. Wavy, not ring, wavy vascular cambium is formed. So, the vascular cambium which is formed is wavy at first. So, the vascular cambium which is formed is wavy at first, wavy vascular cambium, right? And now let's see the activity of this vascular cambium. In the same way as in case of dicot stem, this vascular cambium also starts cutting off cells towards inner side and even towards outer side. So the cells which are cut off towards inner side get redifferentiated into secondary xylem and which are cut off towards outer side get redifferentiated into secondary phloem. But here one thing is there, an important thing. The part of the vascular cambium which is uh, differentiated, which is formed from conjunctive tissue becomes active first. So, this part and this part, this part, this part becomes active first and it produces more amount of secondary xylem towards inner side than secondary phloem which is produced towards outer side. So, what happens? Pressure is developed, pressure is built up towards this rings, rings of vascular cambium and hence this vascular cambium, baby vascular cambium becomes a ring, ring form of vascular cambium. It becomes circular. So, at first the vascular cambium which is formed is wavy vascular cambium and later on it becomes circular vascular cambium because of the activity of the part of the vascular cambium which is developed from conjunctive tissue. So, at first the part of the vascular cambium which is developed from conjunctive tissue becomes active and it starts producing more amount of secondary xylem towards inner side than the amount of secondary phloem which is produced towards outer side and hence a pressure is built up like this, like this, okay. So, that this wavy vascular cambium will be pushed towards periphery and hence it becomes circular. So, at first the vascular cambium which is formed in dicot root is 
wavy and later on it becomes circular and rest all uh, functions is similar as in case of dicot stem in the previous video i explained about uh, um, this uh, secondary growth in case of dicot stem you go through all the videos so that remaining functions you can understand very well now let's study about the extra stellar secondary growth so this extra stellar secondary growth occurs by the activity of cocamium now where this cocamium is formed why this cocamium is formed actually so as more and more amount of secondary xylem is is formed towards inner side there will be pressure towards the tissues which are pressure will be developed built up towards the tissues which are present towards peripheral side and the tissues which are present at the periphery gets crushed and they undergo breakdown due to which the peripheral part of the root gets damaged so to replace these peripheral tissues one more uh, vascular cameum is formed outside the steel that is extra steel which is called extra stellar vascular cameum that is cock cameum and uh, due to the activity of this cock cameum the peripheral tissues will be replaced right okay and this uh, growth is called as secondary growth is called as extra stellar secondary growth right okay now let's study the activity of uh, cock cameum and how this uh, cock cameum is formed first this cock cameum complete cock cameum is formed by the de differentiation of the cells of pericycle right so cock cameum is formed by the de differentiation of the cells of pericycle i am writing de differentiation as dd right okay i want to discuss one point here important point pericycle is involved in the formation of some part of vascular cambium but complete cock cambium and this pericycle in roots is also involved in the formation of lateral roots so what are the functions of pericycle the functions of pericycle are to form lateral roots and to form some part of the vascular cambium and the complete cock cambium right okay so after formation of cock cameum this cock cameum in the same way it cuts off uh, cock cells towards outer side cock towards outer side and secondary cortex towards inner side right so rest all functions of this cock cameum will also be same as in case of dicot stem right so this is all about the secondary growth in case of dicot root now let's uh, make the comparative study of vascular cambium in dicot stem and dicot root dicot stem and dicot root so vascular cambium i am writing it as vc vascular cambium of stem dicot stem i am writing dicot as d dicot stem and vascular cambium of dicot root vc of dicot root right okay vascular cambium of dicot stem so the vascular cambium of dicot stem is partly primary and partly secondary in origin it is partly primary and partly secondary in origin we already studied why it is partly primary and partly secondary in origin because partly primary because intrafascicular vascular cambium is primary in origin interfascicular vascular cambium is secondary in origin whereas vascular cambium of dicot root is completely secondary in origin which is formed during secondary growth only so completely it is secondary in origin right next okay this uh, vascular cameum uh, of dicot stem is circular from the beginning it is circular from the beginning whereas vascular cameum of dicot root is wavy at the beginning and later on it will become circular just now we study later on it becomes circular right okay the vascular cameum of stem and both root are involved in the formation of vascular tissues here also vascular tissues that is secondary vascular tissues secondary phloem and secondary xylem are formed here also secondary vascular tissues are formed but one difference is here vascular cameum of dicot stem forms annual rings in case of plants which are growing in temperate regions they form annual rings but in case of dicot root vascular cameum is not involved in the formation of the annual rings so there is no formation of annual rings because root is present inside the soil as it is present inside the soil it will not be exposed to different atmospheric changes like uh, unfavorable conditions and favorable conditions different atmospheric changes and hence there will be no formation of annual rings 
So this is all about the secondary growth in case of dicot root. So with this topic we completed this chapter that is anatomy of flowering plants and tomorrow I will be starting with a new chapter. Hope you understood all the concepts of uh, types of tissues. We studied about types of tissues that is meristematic tissues and permanent tissues. In permanent tissues we studied about simple permanent tissues and complex permanent tissues and then we studied about types of tissue system that is epidermal, ground and vascular tissue systems. Okay, after that we started with anatomy of plant organs. In that we studied about dicot root, monocot root, dicot stem, monocot stem, monocot, dicot leaf and monocot leaf. Then we started with secondary growth in which we studied about the secondary growth of dicot stem in which we studied stellar secondary growth and extra stellar secondary growth and this uh, dicot root also we studied. So this is all about this chapter. You uh, watch all the videos. Grab the concept and try to solve all the objectives from different materials of different branded institutes. Thank you students.